What is up guys, we are back with Prison School Chapter 257, The Other Kurihara Girl. Uh, this fucking cover page, man. Gaguto. Gaguto, man. Like, oh, uh, what a, So lucky, dude. What a guy. What a guy. Anyway, um, last chapter we had the whole like, quiz show between Slut Senpai and Mitsuko and Gaguto. And then Gaguto ends the game... First of all, they both have one win under their, their belts. But then Gaguto says for the last quiz, whoever forcefully takes his body or something like that, they win. So Gaguto is just like, he's thinking with his dick right now. Um, this is box Gaguto right now. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's get into this chapter, man. I'm really, really excited. And also, the chapter is called The Other Kurihara Girl. So are we going to... Um, Maybe Mari, possibly, because I feel we've already seen like a lot of Chio after the cavalry contest, so maybe we'll finally get to see Mari. I don't know. Anyway, you want us to get our hands on your body, <laughs> Slot Senpai? But but that would mean this is such a great idea. I'll be so much fun. Let's do it, Gabuto Kun. How could you? Won't Slot Chan have the advantage of that? That's what I was saying last chapter. Like it seems like Gabuto like. Maybe he wasn't thinking, but, like, this game totally plays in the favor for Slut Senpai. Um, nay, nay, have you perchance misunderstood my intent? I spoke mostly literally. I would have you each pull at my body from the opposite directions with the winner being she who, she into whose control I fall. In short, I have indeed proposed a contest of strength. Oh, that's what you meant. Thank God, thank goodness. Oh, no threesome? God damn it, Gabito. Uh, I was, I mean, probably like everybody else, I was thinking the other way around, but alright. My condol condolences to you, Slut Senpai, I don't know. But I am of a mind to choose Mitsuko Dono. To that end, I shall take the liberty of sending unto her and her alone a message. Ladies, whoever obtains me here will be the true victor. Ready? Begin. Um, and Jesus Christ, this is a lot of fucking dialogue. A uh, little bit, I imagine the might, the might they would possess. Nevertheless, this is acceptable. The situation before me is akin to that of the astute decision of Hong Ba, as recorded in the Tang Yin Bai Shi. Jesus Christ! Do I have to really, really read all this? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip through this, man. Like, goddamn. Um, first mother pulled the child towards her. The other, when the child broke out into tears, immediately released her grasp upon seeing this. Hong Ba said to them, this woman here who cares for the child's well-being is the true mother, and in all attendance were, were awed by his wise and true verdict. Indeed, one could consider this uh, inspiration of the legends. Um, given Mitsuko Dono's found love of history, surely she will know it. Uh, uh, such pain. Indeed, you two are both mighty. <laughs> when she sees me in pain, she will surely release her grip. <laughs> Dude, her fucking face. Is that really what he thought was expected to happen? Like, he really thought Mitsuko was gonna fucking stop just because he's in pain? Dude, she looks like a fucking zombie right now. And she has the little blush marks too. <laughs> Mitsuko don't know? No, this ought not to be. What causes you to show such uh, frenetic determination? Because she loves you, dude. Uh, moreover, this truly does hurt. <laughs> you are ripping my arms from my torso. <laughs> what if he, like, dislocates one of his shoulders or something? Um, anyway, indeed, I did it, I won, yes, oh, she won, and I have lost, I mean, it's what was expected, right, like, oh, and Slut Senpai, like, I didn't see that, she actually let go of Gabuto herself, interesting, I wonder if she, like, finally realized, okay, like, this dude cares more about Mitsuko than he will ever care about me, uh, and she's crying, too, <laughs> I guess I just didn't want to win badly enough. Dude, <laughs> Mitsuko's just fucking laughing. <laughs> um, but when I saw how Gabito was so much in pain, I felt so bad for him. This twist, I know I've seen it somewhere before. mitsuka saw please make Gabito Kun so happy. I'll be going. Wait. Dude, so it's so weird that Gabito was like expecting... Um, Mitsuko to let go because he was like, oh, she'll see me in pain that Mitsuko will definitely let go, but Slut Senpai was the one to do that, so like, 
I don't, it's like slowly but surely, man, Slow Senpai is making like a case for herself to be like Gaguto's girl. Like, it just almost seems like she's doing more of the stuff that Gaguto wants Mitsuko to be doing, you know what I mean? Like, it's really weird. Slutchan, no. I'm the one who lost. Huh? What do you mean? The winner of this contest was the one who let go. Just like in Hong Ba's judgment in the Tang Yin Bai Shi. Isn't that right, Gaguto Kun? Gaguto, like, who do you pick in this situation, man? Because, like, it's, it's so, like, both of them are doing exactly what he wants, right? It's, like, who do you pick? I was so focused on victory that I didn't realize Gaguto Kun had posed us a riddle, let alone figured it out, and I turned a blind eye to him being in pain. <clears throat> and that makes me the worst of the worst. Mitsuko Dono, that is totally untrue. You're the one who won the contest. Um, I lost. You're the true winner, Slechan. Isn't that right, Gaguto Kun? Well, truth be told, Gaguto Kun, you decide. That's how the contest works, after all. Yeah, I would totally be okay with your decision, whatever it is. In such case, what would you all say to the three of us getting along congenially? Don't know how to say that word. Um, I find myself unable to select between the two of you. You're so not being serious right now, right? Or do you just want to get yourself a threesome? That would be so cool. After how hard the two of us fought, I don't think you can end things like that. Then, then indeed, let us have PBR Sama this son. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know he had PBR Sama with him. Like, what? Like, where did he even put PBR Sama? Um, as if you're making this choice yourself, and she just slapped it out of his hands. <laughs> oh my god. Yagutaku, I thought you were better than this. You're acting like a whip. Wouldn't that be so sad if he actually didn't get any of them? Like, they both just left him? Um, Sledgehound, let's go. Things have come from weird to ridiculous. Uh, pray, uh, pray, wait momentarily, yes. Oh, right, on the way back, you so have to teach me about the Three Kingdoms, Mitsuko-san. Oh, of course I will. Great, I mean, you know how few girls there are who are into this stuff. Alright, so like, that puts that puts a wrap on the whole Mitsuko, Sledgehound, and Gagusa storyline. For now, I'm guessing, but... I mean, that's it. Gaguto really fucked up, man. Trying to get PBR to choose a girl for him, dude. He really fucked up with that. Anyway, it's finally finished. Andre will be so happy. The next day, July 6th. So July 7th, man, is um, the day of the party, right? Riza, and we finally get to see Kate. You seem like a completely different person uh, these days. You smile more often and look prettier than ever. You're gonna get to see Mari too? There she is, dude, holy shit. Mari hype. Kate. And who might it be but Mari? Long time no see. Where were you guys? Like, that's like, like, where were they? It feels so good to see both of them back. Like, honestly, it's been a while. Um, anyway, where did you go? I haven't seen hide nor hair of you since the sports festival were you so embarrassed over what your father did that you couldn't show your face here at school say something this is excellent i had wanted to speak with you huh what do you want to pick things up where we left off during the cavalry contest that was a draw i in no way shape or form lost in the first place that only ended as a draw because of that father of yours Honestly, like father, like daughter, you're always both causing trouble for everyone else here at the academy. Kate, I was hoping to tell you that I have decided to drop out of school? What? 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 No, you can't, you can't go to something else after Mari just says something like that. You, you can't. As much as I love Hana and as much as I love the leg stomps right now, you cannot. You cannot leave me off like that. Mari wants to drop out of school. Why? Why? Oh my god. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Chio Chan? It was beautiful. Perfect job. You can really keep your trunk stable. You must have learned that from karate. Great. I guess that puts me one step closer to you. Hey, Chio Chan, show me how it's done. Well, okay, but just a little. Sweet. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be celebrating everyone getting out of prison tomorrow. All right, I can't wait. Uh, that Kiyoshi might say some disgusting things, but you know, 
If he starts getting clingy or is giving you the creeps, just call me over. I'll knock him senseless in three seconds flat. I mean, he is seriously creepy. Kiyoshi Kun is not creepy. Uh, he's definitely creepy. Didn't you see what happened during the cavalry contest? He's dangerous, that one. That was because because he was trying to help the underground student council. Uh, there wasn't much he could do about it. Um, yeah, but seriously, how can you not be uh, repulsed by that? Every other girl in the school hates him now, uh, thanks to what he did. Uh, creeps should just be their creepy little selves off in the corner where they can't bother anyone, but he has to be so open about it. That's why there's no hope for him. I would really like you to stop now. Oh? Are you angry, Chiyo-chan? I'm not really angry, but... But anyone would be upset if they heard someone badmouth the person they love. Oh, sorry. Huh? Damn. <laughs> Chiyo was low-key about to beat the shit out of Hana, dude. She was really about to do it. Um, but yeah, dude. I felt like a lot of things, like, a lot of stuff happened in this chapter, right? Like, a lot of stuff. Um, first of all, we have one more day until the party, which is awesome because I've been so excited for this party since it was like introduced. Um, so yeah, one more day until the party, which all hell should break loose when that happens. I cannot wait for it. Mari says she wants to drop out of school. Why? Right? Like, because like, well, my question is, even though the Calvary contest ended in a draw, which of the student councils are in command now? Like. I actually don't know because it ended in a draw, so we didn't have a clear cut winner. So, oh, maybe because she's not, you know, like leading the school anymore, maybe that's why she wants to drop out. I don't know. Um, it's really like something serious must have had to happen, right? Like maybe something with her father. Um, I don't know. And yeah, I, I just don't know. It's, it's really, really interesting that she wants to drop out of school. Um, but yeah, dude, that was like the biggest moment of the chapter to me because like I that was never even a possibility to me that anyone from the series could drop out of school. So yeah, that was really really interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean I guess that we had a little bit of Riza as well, and then the stuff with Mitsuko and and Slut Senpai got so using PBR to choose between them, and he ended up losing both of them. <laughs> Obviously not permanently, but like just for that moment, he kind of fucked up. Uh, but I definitely expect them to be back, like, vying for Gaguto somewhere in the future. Um, but yeah, dude, this was, like, a lot of stuff happened in this chapter. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, man. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Mari wants to drop out of school, dude. Like, I gotta, I gotta know why, dude. I have to know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.